In order to move and split items within POS, we need to create a chip. So first we can start off by navigating to point of sale and start new chip. From here we can go ahead and select a table, enter a member number, and enter the number of covers. Entering the number of covers will impact how chits are distributed and can also help with reporting. You will also be prompted to assign the seat number to the specified member. This allows you to pre-choose their seat. As an option, before you add items to the chit, you can go ahead and assign members to the additional seats. This will make it faster to split the chit afterwards, but is an optional feature. To assign a seat to a member, simply select the seat number and click the cash button. From here you can go ahead and enter their member number or click the find member button to bring up the membership list and click OK. And you can go ahead and do this for all additional seats within the party. You can also choose to leave the seat at cash if it will not be assigned to a member. Now we can add items to our chip. And the best way to do that is to select the member slash seat number before selecting the item. This will ensure that the item selected will be assigned to that seat number and i.e. that member. So we can go ahead and select our options. And maybe we want to add an appetizer on there as well. Once all items have been added, we can go ahead and click the split chip button. If you have not yet assigned a member to each seat, you can do so by clicking on the cash button located at the bottom of each chip. Otherwise, if you have assigned your members to each seat, the member names will populate once you go ahead and split the chips. Now you can go ahead and use one of the quick function features. First, we have even split by covers. This feature will split the chit evenly between all covers. Another option is to use split by seat number. This will split the items according to the assigned seat number. Lastly, you have split by amount. This feature allows you to specify the number of chits to split payments for. Then enter the specific amount each member will be paying. As you enter an amount for each member, the chip balance remaining will be deducted. If we go ahead and add the amount for the second member, the chip balance remaining will automatically be applied to the last remaining member. From here, you can go ahead and finalize and print or finalize changes. After using a quick function, you can also use a combination of the selection and function modes as well. So let's say we go ahead and split by seat number. Next, we want to pick our selection mode. And this feature controls how many items you would like to select within the chip. So for example, we're going to use by item. Then you have the function mode. And there's two options within the function mode. One of the options includes split selected items. This feature allows you to split an item across multiple chips. So for example, after selecting by item, we're going to go ahead and select split selected items. From here, we're going to go ahead and click the item we'd like to split. And make sure you click on every chip that you'd like to split that item over to, including the original chip. Once you've split your item, we can go ahead and click done item split or cancel item split if you need to reverse that. This is a great way to split an item, such as the shareable appetizer, across multiple chips. You can also use the Move Item button. This feature allows you to move an item from one chip to another. So for example, we have Buy Item selected in the Selection Mode section. Now we're going to go ahead and choose Move Item from Function Mode. Next, we can go ahead and select the item we'd like to move. And go ahead and click on the chip that you'd like to move it to. In the pop-up, we're going to choose the first option, which is to keep the member assigned to their current JIT number. This is a great way to move an item from one member to another, like if his friend is buying him a drink. 
Once the chit is ready, you can go ahead and click Finalize and Print to supply a copy of the chit to the member, or click Finalize Changes. Note that neither option settles the chit, but creates a chit. The chits will still need to be settled.